There's a lot to criticize President Donald Trump for. His views about women, the accusations of sexual assault, the number of golfing trips he's been on while acting as president, to name a few. We'd rather not take cheap shots against him, such as questioning his weight or laughing at his hair. We reckon his food and style choices are just a distraction from the genuinely awful stuff he's doing. But just because we don't want to laugh at these parts of the U.S.'s dear president doesn't mean they're not worth discussion. Donald Trump's hair has been a subject of intrigue and wonder since long before he moved into the White House, from its straw-like color to what, exactly, is going on underneath that dramatic comb over. The Donald hair check went into overdrive when Michael Wolff spoke fire and fury claimed that Donald's hairstyle is the result of scalp reduction surgery and just for men die. This revelation, whether it's accurate or not, opened up the conversation around the procedure many won't have heard of beforehand. Everyone's curiosity was dragged back up again when a video showed Donald Trump's hair, or lack thereof, unsettled by the wind. So now seems like the ideal time to look into things further. What is scalp reduction surgery? What does it involve? And is it likely that Donald Trump has had it? The reason few of us know about scalp reduction surgery is because it's hardly ever performed. Once an option for dealing with hair loss, scalp reduction has gone out of fashion thanks to the rise of more effective, less painful treatments such as hair transplants. Scalp reduction is an outdated surgical process, Don Fornshaw, Managing Director of Finishing Touches, tells Metro.coac where a section of skin is removed from the scalp and sewn back together to allow existing hair follicles to be closer and give the illusion of more density. Essentially the procedure involves cutting out the bald spot of the scalp, then pulling remaining skin over the hole to cover it up. It's invasive, painful, and can have long recovery times, which is why it's so rarely used. Scalp Reduction Surgery, also known as Alopecia Reduction Surgery, hasn't disappeared from surgeons' offices entirely, though. Previously it was used when a potential hair transplant patient didn't have enough donor hair, but is now used in extreme cases, such as for victims of acid attacks or those with severe burn injuries. The results can be mixed. Removing a section of skin doesn't put a stop to hair loss, instead reducing the area of the scalp and making the hair look closer together. But because hair loss continues, patients can end up with patches of baldness in difficult to cover spaces around the head. This leads to the necessity of strange hairstyles. The president's hairstyle appears to be predominantly designed to cover the almost certain flat procedure that he has had performed previously, explains Nadine Khan, director of Harley Street Hair Clinic. The volume of the hair is pushed forward to disguise the scarring created by this now rarely used and outdated technique. The hair is pushed forward to provide coverage but can require the rear of the scalp to be quite bald which needs disguising with concealer or ensuring hairspray keeps the hair in place to provide the illusion of coverage. That explains why Donald's hairline is pushed so far forward, and why baldness is visible on the back of his head when his hair is flipped upwards. The more someone who's experienced scalp reduction surgery tries to cover a bald spot and the scarring left by the procedure, the stranger their hairstyle will appear, needing to be spread further and wider to cover every angle. Picture, Justin Sullivan Getty images, and the baldness will continue to progress, especially if Donald Trump keeps up his current routines. The incorrect usage of hair dyes and excessive styling can make hair loss much worse including lifestyle factors like stress and bad diets, says Nadim. If Donald is reliant on just for men, that's the incorrect usage of hair dyes ticked off. His current combover could definitely be described as excessive styling. He's clearly under some stress, why else does he need to play so much golf? We know that his diet isn't the best. This all means that the president will need to seriously consider his plans for his hair, as he's in the high-risk group of losing more. We'd recommend embracing baldness and going for a buzz cut. Better to get that scalp out in the open rather than trying desperately to cover his head with one ever-dwindling section of remaining hair.